happy Friday to you. Today is October 11th, and so far the government has been shut down all month long. Huh? Although at this writing, it appears as if something is going to happen shortly because I understand the federal government has purchased one million Powerball tickets in the hopes that the grand prize will get somewhere over ten billion. So good luck to them with that. On a more festive note, we're about to enter a holiday weekend with Columbus Day coming on Monday. Now, if you work for the post office or you work in a bank, you'll get the day off on Monday. Federal employees also get the day off on Monday. So if the shutdown is solved over the weekend, they still won't have any place to go on Monday. So whether you are working or not, I hope that you're able to, uh, to reap just a few laughs from the antics of those people featured in this week's Friday Funny. <laughs> Deborah Cipriani is a 55-year-old woman from North Ridgeville, Ohio, who has pets, 50 of them, <laughs> and they're all skunks. She runs a rescue center for skunks, and they all live in her home, some of them sleeping in the same bed with her. She even gets up at 4.30 in the morning every day to make sure they all get fed on time, because if there's anything you don't want in your house, it's an angry, hungry skunk. She claims that the smell doesn't bother her, nor does it bother her partner, Kevin. No mention, however, is made about what the neighbors think of her hobby. But I would venture a guess that air fresheners and potpourri are big sellers on her block. The London Fire Brigade in jolly old England had a rather odd rescue call this week. The firefighters were called by a man who got his man part stuck in the toaster. Yes, you heard that correctly. The man purposely stuck his willy in the toaster. And all I want to know is why? Toasters don't look like inviting or comfortable appliances like a juicer does. You know, maybe they're different over in England, but over here toasters have metal and heat and that pop-up thingy, all of which combine for what I would imagine is a rather painful romantic experience. The rescued man is expected to fully recover. The toaster, however, had to be recycled. Because think about it, who in their, in their right mind would ever use it to make toast again? Ophelia Neal lives in Clinton Township, Michigan, and she decided to rob a bank to get a little extra money. Since she didn't have a gun, she walked into the bank carrying a cloth bag and stated it was filled with explosives. She walked out with cash and with her bag, which contained two cans of spaghetti sauce. She was arrested, and this week she pled guilty to the ragu robbery and is awaiting sentencing. She said she knew there were no explosives in the bag, but if she didn't get any money, she was fully prepared to open up those cans of spaghetti sauce and make quite a mess in the bank lobby. Hopefully she'll be assigned to the prison kitchen where she can now work on her dynamite chili. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Please pass these funnies along to your friends and I will see you back here next Friday.